Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Norland. Norland's a, a new game by Hooded Horse. Uh, Key provided. Thank you very much, Hooded Horse. Y'all are the best. Um, I mean, like, I mean that because pretty much everything I've ever played by Hooded Horse or published by Hooded Horse has been like top notch, and this is not really any different. Like, it's it's this is a top notch product right now. Um, but it's basically a colony sim mixed with, uh, Crusader Kings. And, um, you know, when I think of colony sim, I do think RimWorld. And obviously there's a bit of influence, uh, of RimWorld in here. And when I think of RimWorld, I do think of, uh, basically a soap opera generator. I've been playing a lot of RimWorld myself, um, in preparation for my new series. Um, and, uh, when I think of Crusader Kings, I also think of, like, drama and, like, soap opera type actions. I mean, it really is the, uh, no, no pun intended, the marriage of, like, conflict and, uh, intrigue and, and all of these things that make up, uh, you know, the, the court, basically. So, uh, you know, when you're combining RimWorld or Colony Sim with, uh, Crusader Kings, it really does feel like a match made in heaven. But uh, yeah, this game is, it's quite dense. We got a lot of to, to talk about. There's a lot of nitty gritty. There's a lot of granular mechanics. And then there's a lot of broad stroke stuff that is actually just like a lot of fun to watch in action. Um, this is a game in progress. I've been playing it for a couple of hours. Oh no, Darissa and Wolf have started fight. Let's have a look at that. Darissa is beating the crap out of a wolf. Uh, I, I sent Luchavoy and Darissa on a wolf fight. Hopefully they don't die. They're okay. They're cool. I mean, they're going to probably have a couple injuries. Um, I sent Luchavoy on a hunt because he had a burning desire to go and kill some something. <laughs> so uh, I have now fulfilled that desire. Uh, I'm not going to be very good at like talking about all of the like intricate stuff going on because there's a lot of it and I tend to um, gloss over quite a lot of it. Will you get something out of this game if you do go into every single panel, look at every single thought uh, that someone has, uh, try and marry a person that makes sense with another person? You're going to get a lot out of that. But I've been treating this game more as a colony sim with uh, 4X kind of taking the backseat. And um, I'll probably be punished in the long term and eventually conquered by the unholy horde that are making their way through our uh, our peaceful little country i say it's peaceful but it's it's fraught with conflict um but you know for the time being i'm having a good time and i think that's the important part um okay so right now i'm in an alliance with uh, i am i started as enchantment and i'm in an alliance with the moon realm the uh kind of like what do they call them uh it says it up here free cities union so I've probably fulfilled that king's like desire to uh, unite a bunch of people under a single banner. Reba contract contract expires. That's fine. Reba is like a independent lord that goes around, and you can hire them to to pick up a little bit of the slack. Um, and uh, I kind of regretted hiring them immediately because I misunderstood their panel. I thought they were very good at management, but in fact they were not very good at management. They were just about to level up. So. Um, I do like the tooltips in this game. It must be said, like, learning the game is actually really comfortable because they have a, a pretty good system of, like, you know, if you want to look at something, uh, like, for instance, this panel here, um, then if you, like, keep it open for long enough, uh, then it will just, like, stay where it is, and then you can, like, hover over certain things. You can tell something's locked by, uh, the, the fact that the ba uh, border is highlighted. I just think that's a really good way of doing things, and I, I like uh, I like any game that does something novel with tooltips because I find it to be just like the best way to learn. Um, I'm building up some houses. We only let me see. We have right now we have uh, six unemployed people. That's pretty good. You don't want to have too many unemployed people. Obviously, I mean, uh, ideally we would have none. But, uh, you know, we're, we might have a job that needs doing. So having a little bit of buffer, I think, is probably a pretty good thing. Average wealth is 11 gold. Um, you can really control, like, a lot of the small stuff. In fact, you're going to want to do that. So, like, the first thing that the tutorial teaches you is, like, hey, uh, you, you're going to want to set your wages for your peasants. That's how, how much money you're giving them, obviously. 
good to pay the warriors a bit more uh that keeps them happy but then you also want to make sure that they can afford food so i mean the, the good rule of thumb is that you're paying um you're charging four gold per flower uh or whatever the the food may be rutabaga kind of sucks no one likes rutabaga so you know uh it's it's a desperation thing but obviously i'm out of flour right now i am working on getting some more flour in fact one thing we can do is try and uh you know there's that, that there's that new uh job i was talking about is try and get some more uh flour going so let's get ourselves another mill over here and uh, we do have a surplus of wood so that should be constructed quite well or quite quickly i should say um so yeah, we need we need more flour, but you want to make sure that uh, wrong panel, sorry, uh, that your uh, villagers can like afford flour. So this tells me that they can afford one flour per day. That's one food per day. Um, we can also sell the meat, although meat is quite rare. Uh, we we would need to buy it. But then they also have a little bit of surplus gold, and we want them to have surplus gold because we want them to be able to afford beer. Um, like every five days, they're going to buy some beer. Uh, right now our beer, well, again, our, our, we are kind of short of beer. Beer is a complex meal and, uh, that's uh, some, uh, across the, sorry, um, against the storm terminer terminology bleeding in here, but it's a complex meal that requires both hops and, uh, rye. So, you know, we, we need to, it takes time for that to, um, manifest. But we're right now we're just we're, we've got some hop fields this is a pretty good um map generation like i've got got myself uh quite a big field here that you can do whatever you want with you can uh build, build some rye fields i noticed this rye field does not actually have a manager uh every single building anything that needs to be managed uh should have a manager ideally Drez, uh our Drez the whole vlad person here would uh, manage this but they're already They've already got four buildings under their belt. That basically means they have to visit four buildings every single day and tell them what to do. That starts to become a little bit unwieldy pretty quickly. So we want to make sure that we're delegating, not just uh, optimally, but also uh, you know s such that we, you know, people are not doing too much. We could uh, hire Reba for another few days, but I did not find her particularly good. Um, at uh, doing the job although she did pick up some of the slack we have Seamus here Seamus is of the church of our matri matriarch uh, we want to form a good relationship with them obviously if you don't have a good relationship with the church bad things happen is really the long and short of that so let's uh go through here we're gonna go so through negotiations and spend some time with them we'll send Luciavoy I just noticed Luciavoy uh has gotten old his uh his little profile uh picture used to be like a ginger and now he is at 48 years old he has become gray so nice little details in there um everyone's got like wants and needs and desires and they all kind of like come about it does create conflict it creates interesting situations you're going to want to send your uh people out into the world uh the rightful ruler of the land enchantment trade agreement has expired okay so we had a trade agreement with grala no longer bound by mutual obligations. We could form a new one. Uh, ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, someone... Uh, there is some slander. It matters not whether it was indecision or cowardice that guided you. To me, it's all the same. I asked you for your support in this conflict, and now I know what kind of person I'm dealing with. You've permanently lost my trust. Basically, uh... Between Nebmus and Grella, uh, two kings of, uh, you know, certain, um, I don't know what you want to call them, counties, uh, kingdoms, uh, one of them slandered the other one and was looking to either be backed up or, like, you know, the person who, who was being slandered would, would want some support. Um, and if you don't uh, do your part, if you don't back up one of them, then they both get pissed off at you and... You know, rightly so, honestly, but it's an interesting thing where you got to have to weigh how much uh, relationship you've built up. For instance, uh, Moon Realm here uh, is ruled by Grella. Yeah, Grella here. And I have a okay relationship with them now, although it's not as good anymore because we just lost nine more. 
let's try and uh, rebuild those bridges a little bit. Let's get Grella back, back on our on our side. Let's so we'll send Luchavoy over to spend some time. He's got pretty good manners, so he should be able to mend something there. Oh, this is not good. Uh, Brightvale and Treewood look to be uh, in in the. They've formed an alliance. I was actually kind of trying to work towards um, having Brightvale join me uh, as a vassal. So that work has now gone uh, gone awry. However, our relationship with them is pretty good. So why don't we try doing something interesting? We, we could do uh, uh, some slander ourselves. Let's see, uh, politics. Where, uh, en envoys visit. What is this? The Lord you have chosen will visit the king to improve relationship, relations with him on behalf of your ruler. There will be a conversation, the outcome of which will affect the attitude of Don, uh, Don Clad. I mean, this is good, but, um, I was hoping to do some slandering. We can do some trading. Uh, it doesn't look like we can do some slander. I'm surprised, honestly. Oh, there it is. Does not treat you as well and uh, well enough. Currently, your relationship between your kings. Okay, so let's do an envoy's visit with uh, Drus. Well, Drusvlad. His manners is only at level five. So actually, currently, I know I sent. Let's let's cancel that Luchavoy over there and instead try and pr improve our relationship over here with um, Luchavoy. Cannot be the executor of this task. To establish personal relations between kings, you can have your king spend time. Okay, well, all right, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's see, Don Clad is the king, and we want to spend time with, and we want to send Luchavoy to improve our relations. We can get our relations high enough, then we can slander uh, him against Treewood, and that would uh, hopefully break up their vassalage. And also, uh, ideally, they would go have a like little military conflict, which would wear down their... Uh, their their forces. As the city grows, it becomes more challenging for lords to distribute instructions to a large number of buildings. This is uh, being told to me because I have grown to such a point where um, I really don't have enough lords right now is really the long and short of it. Let's see, Nefermon. He's got great combat and command. He'd be good um, for, for when we're managing our armies. So let's go ahead and uh, hire him if we can. Uh, requires action requires 15 rings total cost for 10 days 10 rings so yeah uh, uh, you have gold and then you also have holy rings and holy rings are not just like a currency but they're also a kind of a gatekeeper of power in this game uh, you're gonna need like a certain amount of rings to enact a certain amount of power in this game oh shoot we all we have a traitor where is he has he arrived yet Drozvlad, uh, sorry, Drozovlad is uh, quite good at trading, so we want to do some trading. I've been uh, hoarding my resources for exactly this moment because I, um, I really need to to make up some money here. So let's uh, we're gonna sell a bunch of uh, rye to start, and it'll actually tell you market saturation. So if you sell too much, you'll uh, you'll sell it at a loss. Let's see here. If I sell it 80, the impact of saturation is only, okay, so it, it, it exponentially grows, the impact. So uh, we can't sell too much of that. We would like to sell hops, I suppose. We want to sell as much as we can. Um, herbs are also good. I've been improving relations with Matriarch to 25 so that the Holy Caravan will start selling you this product. I'm going to sell uh, the herbs to them, but they don't really want that many herbs. We'll sell them some rutabaga. Apparently they're cool buying a lot of rutabaga, so that's that's pretty good for us. We would like to buy some rings. That's really the important thing. It sucks that we don't have that much beer. Um... So I'm not sure why this says uh, we're handing over. Is this how much money we're going to get? Hold on a second. Okay, he's... 
I find this panel a little bit confusing, I won't lie. Um, we would like to trade for some knowledge. Military logistics would be good. Uh, hot field efficiency is interesting. Fertilize correctly. Costs half the amount of, of wood. There's almost a, like a little bit of worker placement in this game. It kind of gives me some uh, Uwe Rosenberg vibes. Ooh, pig farm. Through the construction menu. That could be really good. Um, that would be really good because then we could get some meat. Herbalist. We could learn a new language. Workshop. These are all pretty good. Let's uh, get ourselves a pig. Oh, this is how much we're getting. Okay. Let's get ourselves a pig farm. Um, fighting draught is probably pretty good. Military logistics is good. Workshop is necessary. Chancellery. I'm not sure what that does just yet, but we'll find out. And also I can like, uh, that's, uh, I think if I hover this over, over this long enough, it'll freeze that tooltip. Doesn't seem to be doing that. Uh, oh, there we go. Clerks work here and can be assigned to administration buildings instead of lords. Oh, that sounds very good. The building requires the constant presence of a managing lord throughout the workday, but three clerks are capable. Of... That's, that's amazing. We want it. We want that. So these are uh, quite, this is quite a lot of books we want. We also want some rings. Probably like 10 rings if we can. Um, so let, let's see if they'll let us do this. I don't know, like, I don't know if there's like a balance button. Negative 10 in favor of the trader due to the difference in trade skill. The price of some goods has risen due to the events on the global map. Oh, they also uh, have some like people they could uh, sell to us, which is always an odd thing to me, but uh, we also have some books we could sell them. I've been uh, writing my own books. Basically, uh, the way knowledge works in this game is, uh, you know, the thing I'm going to do with these books is teach that idea, that concept like pig farm to one of our lords. That means that Lord has that knowledge. And that means if that Lord dies, we will lose that knowledge. But as long as we have that Lord, uh, then we can build that thing. It's an interesting mechanic. Um, also, they can write books, but writing bo uh, books, like it, it guarantees we pass the knowledge on to the next Lord, but it also means that we have to use up paper and paper is a very valuable resource. So let's sell, let's sell a hop field and beer. We'll sell one of those. Um, we kind of need the rest of these just to ensure that we're okay. Uh, I do wish that, can we trade? Is that good? That's not good. So we need to, uh, total amount to be paid. He's just, uh, give me one second here. Okay. I understand what is happening here. Uh, basically I'm being taxed 2100 for the total value of my army. Um, I do have a fairly powerful army, and so this tax is quite large. Um, I don't think I can make up this money. I So far, I'm gonna owe them 2,599. I don't have nearly that much. Um, we can sell some of our weapons. We could sell like everything, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Like I could sell literally all of our herbs. Um, I don't want to sell any of our weapons. Uh, I need to get this down to 1473, basically, which is brutal. Um, let's get rid of those rings. I, I really want to these, uh, these books. So I, I'm, I'm going to keep those books. Let's sell some wood. We'll sell all of our wood if have, if need be. Okay, so we got it down to 1401. I'll, I'll have to be comfortable with that. <laughs> we just lost all of our money. So I was I was actually quite looking forward to the trade caravan um, because I was like, oh, we'll make a bit of money and we'll get some knowledge. Uh, how wrong was I, huh? So let's go to our knowledge. We want someone to learn this. Let's get, uh, yeah, we'll get Drezzlevlad to learn that. 
chancellery um currently there are no lords available for this task i mean yeah i guess uh, people are writing things the thing is is that we, I, I had people writing things when um i didn't have any paper so that's that's not really ideal um instead we'll get um darissa to learn chancellery we'll get uh luchavoy to learn workshop he'll have to write that down as soon as like he's done learning it we do we would be good to get a temple but right now uh I mean, we just got really heavily taxed so uh it's uh it's gonna have to be a while before we build a temple but i think people are more or less okay reba the lord is consumed by desire and derissa well we don't care about reba she doesn't even work for us anymore uh derissa the lord is consumed by desire okay so what's her desire desire for holy rings well we have we do have a holy ring so uh or or two so let's go ahead and get the king to gift her gift to the king um give the king receives five holy rings we don't want her to have uh to give five holy rings we want her to get five holy rings and it's not a bad thing to do also because that means that she has more um like diplomacy in a way she can go to other uh you know get other things done so hold on action none of these are really what we want blessing um none of these are, are what we want social spend time with challenge to duel i i want him to gift darissa Revoke title, pass the crown, reward. Oh no, okay, so we want her to be rewarded. There we go. So now Luchavoy is going to go and get her some rings. Now, what is Drezavlad? Uh, is Drezavlad also in a torturous desire? He also wants some holy rings. Damn, everyone wants holy rings. Okay, well, we'll we'll give them both some rings. I don't know if like we ha we can technically afford to give them both five rings, but um, it's gonna be expensive. We only have twelve, so it's kind of a bummer. We uh, are basically out of the uh, resources right now, so we're gonna have to take a few days to recoup our losses. We do have paper. We got two paper apparently. Okay, so we gave five rings to Darissa or Drezervlad. Um, it looks like this... Does this not have an appointed? No, it does. It said it didn't have an instruction, but that's because Darissa hadn't arrived yet. So she's making the rounds right now. That little uh, finger means like, hey, uh, we don't have instructions yet. Probably I should upgrade this brewery. Oh, we don't have any more uh, iron. I can buy some iron. Fortunately, we have just barely enough to get some iron. Skill trait is degraded to level 9 due to aging. Luchvoy, the skill manners has degraded to level 8 due to aging. People are getting old. The, uh, the term of our trade contract has expired. It has quite, has been quite advantage, uh, advantageous. Do I still get that last shipment? I would really like some more iron. Uh, I guess we could learn how to make a mine and then we would get some iron. We do have unemployed people. There is a there is a potential position for a mine over here. Yeah, so we don't know. We can't make a mine yet because no one knows how to make a mine. But, um, you know, honestly, Luchavoy, maybe you shouldn't be learning how to make a workshop before we learn how to make a mine you know that makes sense so luchavoy uh cool it with the workshop instead you're gonna learn how to make a mine oh god he's only got one point uh ugh. we're just gonna we're gonna leave it for now luchavoy is out on a some kind of stroll hopefully he doesn't get killed by wolves how are we doing for food? I, I hope we're okay. We seem we do get to some flour. It seems like we're not keeping up with flour demands. Is, does this have an assigned person yet? Luchavoy has not arrived to give this instructions yet. 
Um, and it seems like Luchavoy is actually um, taking a nap out in the woods. Why are you taking a nap out in the woods, Luchavoy? Why are you doing that for? <laughs> Someone's letting him know, hey, hey, bud. Oh, wait a minute. Is he just like passed out? He literally cannot move. Oh, well, that's uh, that's maybe not great. What's up with Luchavoy? What happened? Oh, we have a child. Our, we, we now have officially have a son. Gulling us. We gotta take care of that. I say that as if it's an it, but you know. Um, so we gotta educate the um, Gullin us. Let's um, we can give him general training. Uh, or, yeah, I'd like to give them philosophy because I want them to be able to learn a lot of things. We'll have, uh, Darissa teach Gullin us. Yeah, uh, so Darissa was actually pregnant with, uh, with child. And so she apparently had it. Workers have not received, received instructions today. That's a, a big problem. I think we need to reassign or we need to hire, um, we need to hire another person to take care of this. Because right now, the, the people, these, these buildings are not, uh, not receiving instruction. Luchavoy let us all down a little bit. Um, I might actually switch it over from Luchavoy to, uh, I, I guess it's gotta be Drozovlad. Even though Drozovlad has four building, buildings under his belt, we're gonna increase it to five and hopefully he gets to all of them in the day. In the meantime, I guess that's going to free Luchavoy up a little bit, and he is a pretty good diplomat. Um, how is Maka doing? Oh, we're at neutral... Oh, wait a minute. Did... Okay, Brightvale uh, split up with Treewood. This is good. And we're on good terms with Brightvale. We seem to be on okay terms. Let's uh, send Luchavoy... No, he's only got one in, in combat now. That must be... Uh... Mostly because he, he's injured. So let's have him spend time with the king there instead. Oh, he, I guess he's bedridden right now. Was unable to complete the assigned task, spending time together. Why is that? Why, why is that? Well, we'll get there. Uh, maybe, no, Don Clad, Don Chad, sorry, is still there. What's going on here? So we have a trade offer. They're, they're sell, they'll sell seven slaves for 84. Which is actually, you know, if, if you're going to buy people, that's a pretty good price, I, I guess. Um, so we're tr I'm trying to wear down Bright Veil because I would like, I like I would like to have them join our vassalage. Seamus and Nefermon have started a fight. Oh, no. Uh, that, this guy represents the church. Not a great idea to be fighting a member of the church. That's a, a bit... That's not great. Uh, also, we have people sleeping out on the ground. That generally means we need to build some more, um... Hold on. Uh, houses for people. Peasant houses. I, I like, I like this kind of common area we got going on down here. I might uh, do something a bit different later. Maybe I'll build around with houses, houses so it doesn't look quite so um, suburban, you know? <laughs> but there's, you know, there's like interesting things always happening in this game. Goddess will punch and punish me. I don't know how to necessarily solve that one. Let's go, um, where is it? Okay, Goddess will punish me. Need for piety. We need a temple. Eh, people are not happy without the uh, without a temple. Did we learn pig farm? We did not learn pig farm, but we almost have the channel uh, chancellery. Chancellery, chancellery. Okay, chancellery. Chancellery. It doesn't. The word doesn't even mean anything to me now anymore. <laughs> um. 
I don't I think we're kind of barely keeping up with food demands, but not really. We probably we really need we really need that chancellery. Like that's that's going to be really important because uh that'll ensure that we can get people to issue commands. What has happened? Luchavoy failed to complete the task. He's uh he seems to be not okay right now. Luchavoy was unable to move. So what's going on with him? Sleepiness, mild hunger, desire fulfilled, traits, loss of mobility, characters unable to move. Is it because he's injured? Scars. Yeah, he, he got he took a beating from a wolf, I guess. So there's something going on in Moon Realm. Threat of plunder. The forest bandits in the province have become so audacious that they are planning to plunder the city. Relations with Grella plus six major. Okay, so we really want to do this. Um, not sure where we're sending these people. Is it this one? If I if I go ahead and assign this here, request for assistance. Yeah, so let's do that. Whoops. Sending aid on local map. Create new squad. So we're gonna create a squad. Wow, uh, Luchavoy is really not okay right now. With uh, Darissa, my uh, warriors are not super happy with me right now, and I don't necessarily blame them. I'm gonna send a bunch of people. Honestly, if a few of them get killed, that's fine, because uh, apparently I can't afford to keep them. <laughs> we'll send. We'll do like three melee. You know, those are maces, and um, three arrows, uh, bows. So we'll have three range and three close quarters. And then we'll click that, send army. So that'll make uh, Grala happier with us. And it'll also make the uh, matriarch happier with us. And when the matriarch is happy, we're happy, you know? Warriors are armed and ready. I don't know if you, you might have noticed, I, I actually do have a bit of performance issues with this game. Uh, I don't know if it's just me capturing it or maybe I just got to like, up, you know, upgrade my PC at some point. But like, I do have uh, some frame problems like quite often, um, but I don't know if that's the game or not or, or on my end. But, uh, you know, I'm having a I'm having a good time with this game. I, I've been playing a lot of RimWorld in my off time. And um, something I really appreciate about RimWorld is that they um, kind of like focus in it focuses in on a very small select a number of characters And so you have interesting conflicts between those characters and I think that this game uh, uh, Has learned that lesson well is we have we have the kind of the macro of like Kingdoms versus kingdoms and those kingdoms are ruling over people and those people are many and when you have many people It's kind of hard to get really attached or to, to really um, even know who like who or what those people are like it doesn't it, it's it, it's so it gets to be so macro and that's one of the reasons I can't like really um, personally get attached in like a, a 4x game like it, it just looks like a bunch of maps versus each other so I love the fact that uh, you know with Crusader Kings it's sort of my more my style of game where it's about the people and it's about the the people ruling those kingdoms and and their relationships with other kings and other queens and other peoples of the court and so i think that this game does uh has taken that lesson very well um and uh so i, I really appreciate that you know we have a very small select number of characters we can only have ma max five lords and then over time they will get replaced uh either by our heirs or by other uh, people who have like are marrying into the court, uh, and we might lose people because you know our, our uh, you know our queens may marry out of our court. Um, so things things change in this game, and it's it is dramatic and it is interesting, um, and it is personal. I think that's really like the thing I really appreciate about Norland is it's uh, it doesn't forget the personal level of uh, like the Crusader Kings and the Rim Worlds and. You know, but it still has that 4x kind of macro thing going on. So the forest bandits in the province have become uh, so audacious that they are planning to plunder the kingdom. We succeeded at this. Our relations with Grella are improved and our matriarch is improved too. We're at 16 with our uh, 
matrix number of fanatics in the city so they, they're not happy with that that's probably because i don't have a temple also we have a little bit of a visual glitch going on with the moon realm i wonder if i like back out of that and no it's just it's just like really not okay <laughs> the map is not okay please send help um moon realm themselves are at conflict are they it's possible grella will help if we consequences the force bandits is this is this what i just did and it's like if you fail to send aid do we send more aid is that what's going on here assign request for assistance sending aid um i guess on global map this army why not just head on back Darissa was heading back, but I mean, uh, she could just go back, arrived back in Moon Realm. All right. How are we doing? Our food? Okay, so our flower is now finally, like, happening. That's pretty good. Um, we are also getting beer, and that's pretty good. People will be happy about that. Uh, our, we don't, we have enough rye. We have so much rye, it's kind of ridiculous. That's pretty good. Um, Luchavoy, I don't think Luchavoy is really fit to rule as much anymore. Rumor conquers. Has it the ruler Tutricor from Crystalia is exceptionally gifted and ambitious. He claims to have received a relate revelation from Sophia, blessing him for the conquest of Norland and the creation of a new empire. Well, good for him. We have an ambition as well. We want to unite three provinces, uh, you know, under under one alliance. Um, if we can, like, I guess uh, that maybe winning the game would require, uh, you know, expanding this to 15 provinces. So that's kind of like, and you get to pick from a bunch of different ambitions. So like, obviously, like one is conqueror. So you, you know, take a bunch of other kingdoms under your umbrella as vassals. Um, Oh, do we not have a... No, we have some... Wow, Luchavoy is just like letting us down in, in so many regards right now. Um, did we... We still haven't studied the Chancellery. The one thing that I find uh, I'm a little, I don't know, concerned about is like how long does it take for like Galanos or heirs to grow? Because it says they're one year old now. That's uh, like it It didn't happen. It Like it... It seemed to happen overnight. They're already one years old. And yet we have like a day night cycle and we have like a um, kind of a, you know, growth period of like, we have to have a night. And we also have like to station some of our military in certain spots to make sure that our storerooms aren't being robbed because that is something that will happen. So there's almost like a little bit of prisoner architect in here as well, just for safe measure. But like, how long will it take for an heir to grow is something I'm not yet sure about because like we're at day 19 and days actually quite take they take quite a long time and, and that's a good thing in a way um, because otherwise like you know as I mentioned they these things will basically not even function until they have uh, someone join them repulsive moonshine moderate fatigue goddess will punish me torturous desire what is your oh you still haven't gotten your holy rings okay uh, King, please reward her with some holy rings. Can you, can you, Luchavoy, can you do that? Can you do the very, the very bare minimum, honestly? If she's not happy, then we're not happy. So Luchavoy is, uh, is gifting her with some, with some rings. She's gotten five rings and her desire is met. Hopefully, please. Fifteen! She wants 15 rings? Wow. And so and, the, and Luchavoy wants 15 rings. Oh my god. Well, none of that is happening. That that is that is all a mess. That is all a absolute mess. There's no way. They're just going to be upset forever, honestly. Um, this is our, our fun little training area where people beat each other up. It's a good time. You know, come on down to the fight pit. We fight. 
You know, the first rule about Fight Pit is you talk about it. Tell everyone. Tell everyone you know. Because the Fight Pit is awesome. You get to punch your neighbor. I'm sure there's a, many people that would love that. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, there's a lot more to do in this game. Uh, I've only scratched the surface barely. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, I would encourage you to go check it out. There'll be a link in the description. If you did enjoy this video, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.